they, they're funny. Purchased yesterday. It, it tastes like Ben Gay. <clears throat> ben Gay? <laughs> I don't want to. It tastes like Ben Gay? But no. I said it in Russian. Benzene. Ooh. It's Russian, right? Yeah. Benzene. Um, 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 gas. Doesn't it taste like gas? Oh. Not like. <laughs> Not like, not like someone farted in their hole and was like, "Here's have some gassy raspberries." Let me see if this tastes like gas. It does have a fuel, right? Fuel taste, yeah. It's weird. It's very different. Weird. They wouldn't have old stuff there, would they? No. What? The weird thing is that we're still eating it. I know. I ate all of it today too. I just ate that one. It's hard not to. Telling you, it tastes like there is gasoline tucked yeah. in the in the crevice of that raspberry. <laughs> it does. <laughs> right. Right. All right. Very well, spoiled. Cheers. You're right about that, mom. Well, you have three drinks. Yeah. And Welcome to Monday. <laughs> cheers. Mmm. That was loud. Where's that from? This is Zinfandel from up north. That's very good. I know. Did you let people know about the show today? I did. On social? I did. Oh, okay. Where you didn't see it? I, didn't, I wasn't able to. Yeah. Is so, this the new setup now? Yes. For good? I, I like it. Look, we get to have spread our, That's true. our stuff all over. It's like a real show. It's weird. Right? We have a table. But they're going to miss that porn couch. We have a, I know. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the porn couch when you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> you need like a special edition show back just from there. Yeah, the stopping grounds. I think when well, you know what I was thinking? What's gonna happen when I'm not around? Cancel the show. No way. Yeah, like when you're not around, what? Like, you have they, to do it. What the hell am I gonna do? What do you mean? What am I gonna do? These people don't wanna see me. No way. Put one of your dresses on? No. <laughs> you have to. You gotta do the show. Are you serious? Is this not in our contract? <laughs> <laughs> and Let set me... all this up? Right. I'm going to set all this up. Stop. It's not that hard. You no. just saw me do it. You just sit on the carpet. <laughs> Worst case scenario. <laughs> no. See, Jose says he loves See? the couch. People love that couch. Okay, you know what? They're going to love this table because... This, we're gonna we're gonna be more yeah. uh, authentic yeah. on this table. We're gonna be more real, so they're gonna be like, dude, this these will be two the next. are a riot on that around that table. Right. It's an honesty table. I'm telling you. Very. You got to be salacious around. You this say table. honesty table. Yeah, honesty table. Mm -hmm. uh, see, Jose says I do, Mike. He what? He likes me. He would love to see you if I'm not around. Listen to my podcast. What do you want to say? I can't. Mike. I can't do it. Am I gonna do a dating show by myself? You can bring one of your buddies on. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> here, you want me to come here? And then you'll like watch in the background and pretend you're not here? <laughs> no, that's that's if I get asked to be somewhere uh -huh. and I can't make it on that Monday. What happens then? Well, you know, we have to skip that Monday and no do that. No way. You got to step in. Actually, Dave did a great job last week. I think... He did, right? I think yeah, absolutely he did. And I think he'd be great in my place. <laughs> Listen, if you weren't able to make it. No. <laughs> um, Jose says, Mike, Skype someone like Anna does. See? Who so what's the topic Skype? tonight? Who would you Skype? I'm just waiting for people to start trickling in. Hmm. I would Skype. Um, if you could Skype anyone. Anyone? Anyone. Dead or alive. I'd bring in Blazarian. Oh, hey, you can't. <laughs> Listen, Dan, if you're watching this, if he asks you, you do not. Now he's going to. Because you you got to make sure you, you come on my show when I'm here. Now he's going to. Dan is going to come on the Anna Report with, with no Anna insight. I love it's that. the Anna guy. Report with Mike. Guess I, host. Dan Bilzerian Dan. is the Hugh Hefner. When he dies, we're all going to be like, remember when Dan did that? What a life, huh? He, I'm telling you. Would you want to be one of his girls? I would not want to be one of those girls. Um, but I don't think he would want me to be one of those girls either. Because yeah. I, 
I'm not fun. Really? I, I'm not YOLO. I'm 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 um JOLO. You're like oi oi. No, I'm JOLO. I'm joy of missing out. Like I'm okay. I'm 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 like I'm I'm. Did I say Jomo missing out? Jomo. I'm Jomo. Yeah, I can see that. I I just I would I would love to not be there. <laughs> so. I hear you. All right, should we talk about the topic? Because I have a lot to say. Um. So today's this week's topic is something that you guys have been very patiently waiting for. A couple of weeks ago, I, I I posted three different topics, and one of them was who lies more, men or women. And you guys highly voted on this topic, and we keep postponing it. So finally, here we are. Mike wasn't very excited about this topic, but I think he's coming around. It's a good one, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, so don't good. we? Everybody lies. Unfortunately, it's hard for all of us to be mm -hmm. truthful all the time. And even in these notes, I noticed there was a time when uh, uh, somebody is upset in a relationship, and you're like, "What's wrong? Nothing. Everything's fine, right?" It's How kind of often does that happen? always? Yeah. Always. It's a go-to. Oh. But really quickly, I wanted to clarify, when I wrote the, the topic, who lies more, men or women, I wasn't trying to insinuate that men lie or women lie more. I think it was just like a more of a... a like a general term. Like a general yeah, question, like, right? Yeah. Because bottom line is, men, both men and women lie. They do. We lie. Liars. But it's what we lie about. Liars. Why it's does it gotta be like about. that though? Well you tell me. Why why do you have to lie? <laughs> you wanna... Let me go through the list. <laughs> <laughs> Bring out a bullet bulletin point. Here you you have the women's, I have the men's. Okay. Do you wanna start? But really quickly, I wanted to kind of go through this because I because I'm so proud of the notes that I've put together. Very good for notes, us. yes. Um men lie great... yeah, to make themselves look good. Right? And women lie to make others feel good. Women are soothing liars. Mm. It's like, we'll say anything just to make sure you feel good. Yeah, you know? that's true. It's It comes from a, well, this ring needs to live, really. Live TV. Um, it's because you look so great, that ring fell off. No, I think I think it's because I, was, I need to get. That was the, oh. yeah. Notice how I couldn't even take a compliment. I was like, I need to get fat. Yeah, yeah you lost all this weight, man. <laughs> so, um, but but also lying, as I told you, at the core, lying is because of fear. We lie because we're afraid. There's so anytime we're talking about any of these things, I just want everyone to know is because there's some sort of fear. Yeah. And when I talk about the things I lie about, I'll say what. And a fear of rejection about. too, right? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Like the one of the biggest things, biggest things men lie about on dating apps is their height. Like that is the biggest thing people say. If you're five six, you're all of a sudden five nine. Like everybody's five nine. You're you're guaranteed to be five nine or, or above. And then if you're five nine, you're six one, six two. And it's so easy to find out. But I feel like guys do that just to get on the date, to get them in, mm -hmm. to get the girl interested. And then once they're on the date, they then find out the girl that he's 5'3 or 5'4. And she's like, why didn't you? Like, oh, yeah, but we're having a good time, right? It's, it's fun. It's, and then it's, it's so obviously there. Mm -hmm. like, we're, we're, like, we're not stupid. So Ralph is here. He says, hi. He says, what do you get out of lying in the end? Nothing, I think. And Ralph sent... Me a video today about a story of a girl who did go on a hinge date with a guy who said he was six foot one, but she was like he was no more than five three. Five three. <laughs> so bad. How can you lie that much? At least say five seven, <laughs> five six. You can maybe get away with it, but come on, Anna, six one. Oh my god. Six one to crazy. five three. That's almost a foot. <laughs> yeah. How you can't get away that's with a that? Foot long lie. That's yeah. what she said. But the problem is he gets. I, I hate saying this, but in life, usually the taller guys will get more. They'll get more attention. They'll get more action. And when you're on those dating apps, it's easy to lie because you're behind a screen. So when you're putting in your height, you're just trying to be accepted, right? Yeah. Like it's an accepting thing. So it's like, okay, I'm 6'1". I'm going to get all these likes. I'm going to be able to get on these dates. And it makes them feel good because they're insecure about themselves. So it, it's the insecurity factor. But it's also the fear that our culture has instilled in, in men, mm -hmm. right? That if you are short, you're not good enough. If and the same with women, it's what what our culture. If you are not, you know, if you don't have the the 
perfect, no wrinkle face, you're not good enough. So it's the same situation. It's I think what it's we lie about, easier right? for guys to walk in a room and and have some presence when they're taller than than they're not. Because I it's, disagree. It's what hard for a guy who's Napoleon? shorter. Hold on, it's hard for a guy who's shorter to have confidence walking into a room. That it's it's that is a fact. I'm going to debunk that fact because let me tell you, since I was. When we, when did we start going to school dances? 13? Yeah. Okay. Since I was 13, the only guys that ever came up to me and asked me to dance were guys who were shorter than me. The tall guys just stood there. Mm, yeah, but they're going through puberty and they have ugly mustaches and they don't know what's happening in the but world. But the short guys, they are like, wow, I'm not in the loose. She was going to say, yes, she was no. No, I don't know. I don't know. I always Nowadays, find I don't short know. guys have more confidence because of that. Because the tall guys always have had it, like, given to them, right? It's the same with, you can, you can apply that to any situation, you know, a tall guy or, let's say, a rich guy, right? You're like, oh, I don't need to get girls. They just come to me because I have money. Yeah. Right? They're, they're not trying. Whereas, uh... A guy who works really hard for his money, he, you know, he, he actively is pursuing women because he, he can't just go to the club and buy a table and the women are just going to come flocking at his table. Who, the, the poor guy? Well, he's not poor. Well, you said <laughs> the guy who's rich, but the guy who's buying the table, no. he obviously has some money. Or not. Well, in LA, they don't. Yeah. In LA, but, the losers. <laughs> but they're, but they're but, pretending like they are. Let's say for that day matter. they are. It doesn't matter, right? So the women are just coming. So, so it's the same. It's like, oh, I'm tall. I can just stand there in the room. I walk in and I come. No. No, but I don't think it's about that. I think it's more about them approaching women. If they're taller, they have more confidence. A guy who's taller has more confidence. But they're not approaching women because they just want the women to come to them because they do. Yeah, but you're saying that when you were 13 years old. Let's go to the club today. You will see. Let me just stand there in the corner. All the short guys will come up to me. The tall guys will just stand there at their table. I guarantee you. It's the, it's the circle of life. It's hmm. the same thing. Maybe the tall guys then expect attention. And they expect you then to maybe go up to them, right? Because. Yeah, because they're so used to women coming up to them. Yeah. It's the same. It's the same thing with wealth. It's the same thing, you know. It's like. But what? A, what? A, what about a, a taller guy walking into a room? Don't you think he has more presence than a, than a shorter guy? No, it's about the big dick energy. Have you heard of that? <laughs> it's not the actual. What if they don't have a big it's, dick it's, and they're small? No, like short. It's, <laughs> it's not the actual. No, but I, I get that. I'm talking about that energy. Yeah, if they right? don't have it though, like it's, it's, it's harder Napoleon. for a shorter guy to have that. No. I find it the opposite. Hmm. I personally, and from my experience, Ani says, I agree with Anna. The shorter guys definitely have more confidence. It's so true. At None least, of my friends. At least, well, actually a couple. See? Yeah. But the tall guys just kind of well, exist. Maybe. I don't know. And, uh, you know, the wealthy guys just exist. Hmm. The, you know, the... I know who Ani's thinking about. <laughs> Aaron says they probably thought girls would approach them. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Dave says, dude's 5'3". Who is he, Danny DeVito? I mean, I, I just don't know how you can put up your 6'1 and then show up on this. I would have sent a friend at that point. I'm like, bro, you got to fill in. I told her I'm 5'3". There's an episode in, um, there's an episode in Sex and the City where the, uh, Samantha meets this really nice guy. And they're up. she's laughing already. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're talking at the bar. They're hit, they're hitting it off, and then he gets her number and he get, gets down from the bar stool mm. to go. And he's a little person, awesome. and she's dying. But she ends up dating him because he has Confidence. big thick energy. Yeah, yeah. Big thick energy is a real thing. It's a real thing. Yeah, it is. So it does it is it's not you know, and there and there are and there are men who actually have how like, many girls lie about their partners how many partners they've been with oh <laughs> like a teacher uh um i don't know if the women lie anymore pardon i don't think women lie about that anymore i think women are sexually very open about things nowadays you don't think so if a girl was if, if a girl was slutting around in her 20s okay now she's in her 30s and she met this guy that she fell in love with. And the guy's like, hey, you know, they're six months in. How many, by the way, how many guys have you been with? 
and she's slept with over 100 guys. You think she's going to admit that she slept with over 100 guys? If she found her match? 100? Yeah. Get a girl. <laughs> FOMO now. <laughs> Like what? what? Are they doing by 20s? Yes. Tw uh, no, not hundred. Okay, sixty. I mean, at that point. No, sixty is too much too. No, it's not. What? No. Anna, girls in their twenties, okay, early twenties, like 20s, 28, 29, how many, 30. In your twenties, how many guys can you, on average, sleep with a girl? Person? You're in the club at least twice a week. At least you're having sex at least twice a week. Max. Yeah. Okay. Can you help me do the math? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so twice, a, twice week. a week. In a, in, in 10 Multiply years. that by four. Four. We'll get the month total. Yeah. That's eight a month. Okay. Okay. We'll multiply that by 12. That's that's 90 a year. Whoa. That's 90 a year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 90. A year. And I'm only talking when she's like 23, 24. I'm th now I'm talking about a span from 21 to 28. This chick, you can get into the thousands if you really want to. Like, you can get into multiple hundreds. So that close means to that a guy can have just as many partners. Right? I think they could. You're saying yes. women are more. Yeah. I mean, what's, what's, what's Blazarian's number? That's, that's his whole livelihood. That's but there's like, guys like that's that. Like that's like that are asking out there. me, like, how many live shows have I done? <laughs> no, but what's, what do you think his number? I mean, it has to be close to a thousand, right? I would hope so. Yeah. So you're telling me a girl within 20 to 28 hasn't slept with over 100 guys? Okay, let's get back to my point. Is a girl going to tell a guy I feel I like, slept with I over feel 100 like I'm guys? I feel like I'm missing out. Oh, what? now you want to party. <laughs> yeah. Now you want to party. That's I got this party amazing. mode in you. You got your Happy New Year uh, <laughs> outfit on? We can just pretend it's New Year's tonight. Oh, my God. But um, back to, to it, would you? Do you think a girl is going to admit that she oh slept with over 100 guys? And you think that's a big number. In L.A., these girls coming from, like, Mississippi and Arkansas and Missouri. But so what? So what? So what? Like, why? Should, so what? Oh, a it's guy like, can get turned on. off by that. If I'm a, if I'm a guy oh, looking on. for a, my future she, wife and... She's tested. She has no STDs. Why do you care? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. She's been tested. She's that's clean. still a huge number. That's like every race, too. She knocked everything out. I'm just I, saying. God. I, I'm just saying. Like, she's been touched by everything. Well, so what? Mm -hmm. That means that she's going to be so good. Think? I think so. Or is it just her looks that get her, that gets her laid? Oh, I don't think looks have anything to do with how many partners you have. Pardon? Oh, my God. None. Especially for girls? What? None. Anna, you're telling me if a hot girl walks up to a guy and says, let's go to my apartment, and she just stands there like a cardboard cutout, <laughs> he, he's not going to lay her? So you have a group of women, yeah. right? Yeah. The least attractive one can get just as many guys. Yeah. Yeah. So, a tr like, looking good has nothing no, to no, do. No, no, but well, my point was that a good-looking girl can get laid at any time. It doesn't matter how bad she is in bed. So if she's bad in bed, the guy might not do her again. Again, no. But she can move on to the next guy who's got a table at the club of and course. continue to, to do her thing. But yes. So what? Uh -huh. Like, why are we slut shaming? Let I'm someone... not saying anything bad about that. No, no, no. <laughs> Let them do their thing. That's their life. So you're, That's their saying, you're saying in her 30s, she needs to. Should she? I think she should lie about the number, right? She should. She should lie about it. She should she lie should about lie the about number. It. Okay, we're getting somewhere. She should lie about it. I think she should lie about it. What would you do if a guy showed up who was 5'3", but on his hinge was 6'1", and he showed up? What would you do? What would, would you say, do? What would you say? Why, are, why do you have to lie about it? And then he, he'd come back. And, and, and I would actually, I, I, but, but that's just me. Like, I had a girlfriend who uh, went on that same exact date this weekend, and she didn't say anything. And I said, why didn't you say anything? Situation happened to her? Same thing. God, can she call in? So No, 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 no. She, I, I was actually hesitant to even say something. Oh. Uh, but, but really quickly, I, I just, you don't, so you wouldn't want her to lie about that number? 
You wouldn't want her to tell you she slept with. I almost would want her to lie about that number. Yeah. If I felt like she was the one and yeah, I mean, I would almost want her to, but then what if you find out later on? Like, Oh bro, you know how many times I hit that? <laughs> and then the next day, you're with her. And then everybody at the wedding is like, Oh bro, I hit that. Yeah, yeah, I did too. Yeah. Me too. Me too. I, it's funny because I, I know a woman like that. Mm. I know, I know someone. I personally know that woman. Good for her. Guys don't care. They won't marry her. They'll still have sex with her, but they will not marry her. When no, she's been around the block and slept they, with every... No, no, no. Married. Has a child. Oh. Did he know prior to all this? Does he still, does he know anything about her past? I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it's inevitable not to know. She's one of those. Okay, maybe he's, in, he's into that. He's into that. He, maybe he's into that look or that girl who is... But I'm just saying, it, it, it has something to do with a man. I think it, it takes a certain kind of confidence in a man. Mm. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that has anything to do with confidence. Okay, flip this around on me. How would I, would I want the guy to lie? I, you know what it is? It's like, it's like... I would, yes, I would want a guy to have a, have experienced and gotten it all out of his system. I just want to have to make sure he's clean. As long as he's clean, I don't care. Really? Yeah. As long as he's clean and hasn't had what about any a, connection with one of my four girlfriends. Okay, that's what I was going to say. So if a guy went and we like talked about this. slept with the girls, but just randomly, random hookups, you're not okay with that? I don't, I don't care. Okay. No, you don't care? I don't care. So if they slept with your four girlfriends? No. What don't you care about? I don't Which, care if he's been with hundred women, a thousand women. No, no, but your girlfriends, you would care, of course. It all, if they're all that. one night, if they're all one night stands. No, we had this conversation you, about, but they're about not relationships. Sleeping with your friends, but they're not relationships. It doesn't matter. So you're not we, okay. We with had that. that conversation. Yeah. Um. Oh, okay. Totally got off topic. Dave says no. No guy needs to find out he's Eskimo brothers with everyone. I don't. You guys. I'm, um, Laura says some men really are not intimidated. They're not. See, some, some men are just not. Some men really are not intimidated. Um, they're not intimidated, intimidated by that number. They're not intimidated by, by his wife being a sexual predator. Being. <laughs> yeah. To each his own. Um, I'm sure there are, I'm sure there are men like that. I'm sure there are. What? Thank you, Mom. Mom, you want to come in here? You want to come in here and let the people know? <laughs> yes. Tell her. To translate for everybody, please. <laughs> so, Mom is siding with Mike. Uh huh. She always does. <laughs> I, 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 I just think that I, I don't know. For me, ultimately, it comes down to if you're. I think a guy at that point in his life is okay with somebody that kind of comes and if and he's just at that point where he's like oh whatever i mean she's you know attractive i get along with her she's been with 100 women but eh, it's okay. or 100 men <laughs> eh, whatever it's okay <laughs> look at lamar low self-esteem i'm with no, him no yeah. you guys and then, are you and serious then, and then and then look it what look matter. what uh ralph said ralph says wow so you're okay with a fuck boy <laughs> If you want to move on, just let me know. I guess, I don't know. I guess I've never been with a fuckboy. So you wouldn't know. But what if you were? The thing is, I I don't think I would be with a fuckboy because the values that I've always, like I've always said, you know, I, I, I like luckily I've always been on really nice dates. Like mm -hmm. I know how to, like I, I've always like dated normal people. So I don't have any like, weird stories I like know. that. I'm, you know? I'm with you. So I'm with you. Uh, God, everyone's agreeing with Mike. What? Laura says men with confidence and experience do not scare. Do not care. Oh, do not. <laughs> See, um, I don't know. I, I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't think. I just, I don't think we should be slut shaming. I, listen, they can live their life. I can care less. I'm just saying, if how, I was in that position, I wouldn't be okay with it. How many? Women, do you know, who, when we were, like, in our 20s, they were 
party girls. And now they're wives and mo moms and they're just homebodies. I want to say... That eventually happens to everybody. Though. I want to say every. Yeah, every, yeah, that happens everyone. to everybody. Yeah, 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 for sure. I, I was, I was, I, I, like, I was the 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 designated driver, and I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It. No, no, that's okay. Do you have to do your thing? Like, I believe in so that. So what's the? Why well, I'm just so saying. So what's the confusion here? I, all I'm saying is that. Oh, the number. The if for me, if I was in that situation, and she's been with multiple men like that, like three digits. <laughs> that's too many digits for two me. Two digits are good? Well, like what? two digits, like <laughs> less than maybe 10. Like, and I, I, I think I've got semi decent confidence. I don't think it has anything to do with my confidence. It's just the girl that I'm going to end up with marrying. I don't know. I just, a little too much. It's, it's a little bit too much. So, so look, I, 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 on this live show, since day one, I've always, 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 always said, this isn't about like hooking up, how to get chicks and hooking up. I always say, I, I, I do not, me personally, ever talk about like sex before marriage and all that stuff. I, that's, I'm all about like, don't, you know, don't live with your partner before getting married. Like I'm that old school. However, if you're in your 20s and you're partying, it's, that's a different mindset. I, I don't know, like. 20 to 25 is a different world. Huge. Different world. Huge. So I'd. Even at like, yeah, 26, 27, maybe even 28. So in your 20s, if you've had, I don't know, a, a boyfriend a year, or well, yeah, usually, usually people date like for at least like. But a if year that happens, you're years. not sleeping with multiple women, hopefully, if you have a boyfriend. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. What, what, was, what, what was your point? <laughs> My point is that I, I think that, you know, like I was, I was with, I was with a friend, um, recently and she got married, I think I want to say 17, 18. So I'm going to go ahead and assume wow. she's only been with her husband. Sure. Right. Yeah. Um, and I, I, and I didn't say anything to her, but I was thinking, I was like, that's weird. Like that's imagine, crazy. that's it, right? How is she today? How is, is she happy, and or does she feel like she missed out on her on her young? I don't think she knows what she's missed out on. I I don't I don't think she yeah. knows what she's missed out on yeah. because <laughs> because because um I made a comment about uh, athletes and she's like, do you know like personally or are you just saying that? I was like. No, I know that personally. <laughs> and she goes, oh, okay. And then I was like, oh, my God. She's nothing. She doesn't even know that like she, life that. Like yeah. she's never, she's never dated like a soccer player yeah, yeah. in college. Yeah. You know, like never been with a soccer player in college. <laughs> like she doesn't know what that's like. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's different. Um, v says, let, Mike. Mike, would you worry you can't satisfy her? Like she's had, she's had, she's had so much experience that you think she might get bored. I didn't even think of that angle. I didn't even think of that angle. And poor mom is huffing and puffing back there. <laughs> but that's a good. But that's it is a, a, that's a very that's good a question. Point. That's it's a, a very good question. Point. I didn't even think about that angle. Uh, I think it's just more about her just knowing that she's been with a lot of men. That's I think I figured this out. I think I figured this out. It's the same exact ideology as why women seek taller men women seek taller men for protection and men seek women with less partners because of like this protection mindset am i right protection in what way though like why do we seek men who are let's say exercise or yeah, yeah. you like things, you like that i, I know that right? i know that right angle. so because yeah. he, he's going to take care of you and your cub uh -huh. Uh, right? Uh, like that's going right, back to right. biology. He's mm -hmm. gonna he's gonna be able to take care of me and my cub when I'm nursing. Right? So the same I think mentality is for men, it's like, is this woman clean and good enough to take care of my cub? Is that that's that's a legit, yeah. That's a legit angle. Right? Uh huh. It's like a similar That's legit. I think that's where yes, men the other side of this and what she was saying is Maybe so. Maybe she is going to get bored with me because she's so used to being with so many other men 
in her life where she's like, okay, I'm, I'm stuck to this one penis for the rest of my life. I'm used to having multiple guys in my 20s or whatever. I'm not over that yet. I'm, I want other stuff now. That's true. That could be part of it too. Laura says, it's mathematically impossible for men to always have slept with more women. Oh, because, yeah, it's easier for women to, yeah. To, yeah. Um, to have sex. Sona says, I'm with Mike on this one, Anna John. Oh, I know. I'm losing. <laughs> so, uh, can we go back to the topic at hand? Sure. Who lies more? Uh, that was good, though. That was I mean, great. that had to have been Get tough. it out of our system? Yeah, we have to talk about it. <laughs> All right, what was the other thing we wanted to talk about was... Um, you asked me prior about this, the penis size. Yeah. Oh, that Why? was a good question. So one of the things we have on the on the list is penis size. What men lie about is penis size. I was like, it's weird that it's a common thing that men lie about. But I'm just curious, like, how does that even happen? Like, do women go, so how big? Like, how does that ha How does this, <laughs> like, do guys bring it up on, like, on the first date? I think that this matters what you're looking for them. Like if the two of them are, know that they're going to hook up, I think that probably has a you conversation. You don't talk about it before. No, I mean in your like early 20s maybe. No but way. But not anymore, yeah. I have never, have, couldn't please any any woman or man come forward. Have you ever had this experience? Have you yeah. ever divulged that information? <laughs> no. Like is that a, is that a thing? People talk, I don't, what is, like who I talks mean, about that? Yeah, like early on in your life, yeah, it's, it's come up. Really? Yeah. Who talk, like, do you guys talk about it? Like, do you tell the people you're you're dating, you talk about size? I'm so confused. And the thing is, they're always going to find out, too, right? That's it's So like, I guess it's to get to that point of having sex, and then she's like, wait a second. You lied to me. I'm not going to have fun. And then she turns around and goes, oh. No, I don't know. Any woman who's ever turned around the left, you know what they do? Dude. Dude. I didn't even feel anything <laughs> is what happens. That or they group chat your uh, girls and you go, I didn't sucks. even feel anything. That sucks. Okay. Sorry that's, to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens. No woman leaves. Mm. Has any woman ever left? I want to hear that story. Lamar says, I think women do because they hide more. Uh, Sona says, no, Which, I don't. How does know it, what? The, the what? size. Rick says, my wife still doesn't know how many women I've been with before. She stopped asking me when my reply was that she was my first knowing that was a <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I actually like that. I love that. And then she stops asking is the best part. Yeah. yeah she's like, whatever. I like that. Yeah. Did, but hold on, Rich. Did you ask her? See, I think that's such a lame question. Asking? I, a guy has... The last time a guy ever asked me that question was when I was 13. Really? And I was a virgin, obviously. <laughs> and no guy has ever asked me that question. Ever. Oh, that like, doesn't come up. Yeah. Um, I did have a guy guess one time. He was like, let me guess. I'm like, you nailed it. He's like, I just did the math. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect. Yeah. It's like, use com here's your common sense, you know? Lamar says, when I was younger, bragging about it. <laughs> <laughs> but to your guys, not to the girls, right? No, he's talking to girls for sure. Like in in high school, he's probably telling the girls. I'm sorry. In high school, I was a virgin, and if any guy bragged about how I would, that's like, yeah, that's scary to a virgin girl. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know. That's Dave says nobody talks about it because guys just send dick pics now. Oh, that was a good one. Proof is in the pudding. That's so true. Yeah. Here's the thing, and, though, and guys. Sad. Please clean your room before sending. Oh my it. god, that's funny. <laughs> uh, poor mom. Clean your room. Um, Chris says every topic involves Belinda. <laughs> <laughs> V says, a penis size doesn't matter, nor does height. I've had both tall and short boyfriends, and uh, they were both great and unimpressive equally. Mm. That's so true. Mm. It's so true. It's the, how does it go? What the was that? Lotion in the ocean, lotion, <laughs> lotion. Like yeah, how does it go? Of the dog in the fight or something. <laughs> Laura says, my husband and I share general numbers. That's good. I like that. La Laura's open with, she, she says it all, man. 
Uh, Ruth says, nope, never asked her. I knew I'd be a hypocrite if I did. <laughs> I good. love that. Yeah. I love that. That's funny. Um, now, what I do ask for, what I ask for is you need to get tested. And I think both men and women need to do that. Yeah. Not wrong you that. have to. You have to, have to, have to get yeah, tested. for sure. Um, why do women feel like we have to lie to manipulate in order to get what we want? Um. Uh, and someone said to me today, a woman said to me, we are programmed to think that will scare him away. And that actually made me cry. It made me cry because it's so true because I do not want to manipulate anyone, anyone, especially not a man. Yeah. Because you want a man to walk himself over to you, right? And sit, vice versa. You know, you don't want to. You don't want to lie your way to a woman's heart because that shit's gonna come out, and for then sure. she's gonna <clears throat> dump your ass when yeah. you guys have a kid, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. So, um, and it just made me really sad that women from a really young age, we are pro like. I remember even when I was little, I used to be in this open book, and my mom always used to say. Don't say everything. Mm. Don't divulge. And I was like, uh-uh. And now I sit here every Wednesday. I'm just, blah. <laughs> you know, I don't want to lie about it. I don't want to manipulate. I want to live my life with my truth. And if the people like me for me. and You'll find out right away. And it's just like so much people, easier yeah, for, for sure. me to live that way. That it's too. It's so much easier. It's, I have a really hard time when I'm have to manipulate. Mm -hmm. I have a really hard time. Mm -hmm. And it's really hard for me because I have to learn to do that in business. It's tough. That it's tough. Yeah. Aaron says, and you'll always be labeled a liar. A liar. Exactly. But it just it's really sad that women lie. What do you think the biggest them? lies are that they that that come up with women? women? Yeah. Oh here, yeah, let's look through the list. Yeah. Uh my favorite is the ETA, right? We say, we'll be there in 10 minutes. No, I'll be there in 10 hours. <laughs> like, no. No, 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 no. Um, uh, orgasms is a big thing. Huge, 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 which I think is changing now as the whole feminist movement is happening. I think women are, and this is a good thing for men. Like, it's a great thing for men because I think when I, when you talk to older men, they're, they're always cheating on their wives mm. with sexually promiscuous women. And the reason why they're doing that is because those women are not afraid to be like, no, I have not orgasmed yet. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they're like, no. Where the wife is like, no. <laughs> yeah. Sad. And they're like, in a just depressed marriage, right? So I it's think true. it's a really good thing that this whole shift is happening mm. because let me tell you, yeah. I, there's, there's a lot of uh, sexuality in women that a lot of married men are missing out on their own with their own uh, wives. Yeah. A lot. And yeah. it's unfortunate. It's on another show. Um, plastic surgery. Mm. Can't you kind of tell about plastic surgery though? You would think, right? Yeah. But no, you guys are still swiping right on the duck faces. <laughs> I don't so think you guys. Tell me. Yeah, but see, guys seeing the duck face with plastic surgery, I think for them is an easy target. No way. Yeah. They like that stuff. No, it's, it's, I think. What, what is it called? D S L? L. Oh. DSLs? <laughs> Did I say that right? That 12. Did I say that right? Okay. <laughs> DSLs. <laughs> so slow. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like the plastic surgery, like you guys like that stuff because that's what, it's all sexual. Where where are they having plastic surgery? Like their boobs or their face? Uh, well, you could yeah, her boobs, lips, anything that's sexual. Yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Not I the just, ears. I think it's an easy target. <laughs> that's all. I think guys see that, and she's more than likely. I disagree. They're gonna get their way at the end of the night. I disagree. I don't think it's an easy target thing. I think it's a, I think it's, they see their buddy with this like playboy playmate looking chick and they want to have that trophy? kind of woman. Is that what you're talking about? Trophy? Well, call it trophy, but nowadays it's that look, right? It's that look. Uh, what else? 
Um, I think you really, we all, I think we touched on almost everything. Wondering right? Eye for Men. A Wondering Eye? Yep. Um, guys will, oh, this is, this is my pet peeve. Oh, that was little. You're, you're talking to a guy and then a girl walks by and he goes like this. Mm, that's tough. And then you go, where were you looking? And he's like, oh, just the sky. That's tough. Little straight up line. That's tough. About their wondering eye. Not cool, yeah. Not cool. Not cool. No. Um, what was yeah. the other one? Kids. A lot of guys will say, yeah, they want kids just to be with a woman, but they don't. Mm. And then that fuck sucks. <laughs> <laughs> pisses me off yeah that's never happened to me actually but i know i know when guys do do that and it's so unfortunate because you're just wasting her time what about money when they lie about their money um ever ever ran into that i didn't run into lying about money i i ran into a guy who had this whole thing planned for me and he told my friends and my family about it, but he didn't have any of it done. What? Like what? <laughs> it was the weirdest thing ever. What was it? And then when I called him out on it, he was like, I was going to get to it. I just didn't have the money by that time. And I was like, but nobody asked you for that. You like, he just like made it up in his head. Was this a long-term boyfriend? Um, I don't what, I what was he trying to do? Like a surprise party or something? A surprise trip somewhere and so he was asking like my friends and my family for like advice on like hotels and restaurants and things and none of it happened he that he had told where we're staying it be he hadn't booked the book the flight the what nothing where no, were you guys supposed to go not like nothing europe no local yeah but not like nothing and i just felt so stupid because all my friends were like we spent hours talking to him wow Freaking crazy. Like, we spent hours talking. Like, they had, like, they had a whole... A weirdo. Like, people were sending itinerary, like, things of where... And, like, How long were you with this guy? Five months. And then after that whole ordeal, were you with him any longer? Like, how long after that? Oh, the moment I found out it was done. You can't lie to me. That's And that's a weird one. And he's touching all of your circle. Yeah. Right? All your friends yeah. and so that so so he the thing is though he turned that in about money like as if I it was about money mm. but it wasn't about money because yeah. I never asked for that yeah it was never yeah he was trying to be sweet and he's trying to get the people on your side to get on his side and then once it was gonna happen he backed out oh my god yeah wow. it was scary because yeah. it's scary you're like oh my god what else are you lying about yeah it was weird yeah, it was really 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 strange. that's going really far um my mom likes you he what. She what? <laughs> the light. My mom likes you. You talk about that. Oh, my, I thought you were like, my mom, I know she likes me. <laughs> I was like, this isn't breaking news. We know this already. <laughs> no. My mom likes you. The lie. So this is the lie that a lot of a lot of guys tell women that they're like, oh, my mom likes you. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> you told that lie over you. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. All my sisters like you. <laughs> Actually, that's never happened. It's so not true. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you get home, your mom's like, you done with that bitch yet? <laughs> you know how hard it is to have four sisters and a mom? I can imagine. Can you talk about judges? <laughs> that's why you can't bring them around very often oh because they're all amazing yeah. people. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. They really are. But they're women. <laughs> they're Armenian women. And the judgment is going to come out like no matter what. Yeah. So got to make you sure you You know what I was thinking right. about the other day? When my cousin uh, brought his fiance around, she didn't talk much for a long time. She was very quiet. She was very, like, very quiet. Reserved, shy. The, yeah, and and. I can't blame him sometimes. Can you imagine being around me? I'm like, yeah. Let's take a selfie. Yeah. Let's go here. Let's go there. Let's yeah. have another drink. You know, and yeah. she's just like. Mm. <laughs> now, how is she? Part of the fam? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. The other day, I was uh, on um, one of those apps, and because her and I were having fun, we we're like, "No, yeah, no." And he was like, "What the hell are you doing with her?" <laughs> <laughs> she got mad at me. 
we're like, no, no, no. It's a game. <laughs> yeah, it is a game. Um, Laura says, women who need to manipulate don't realize how much the good men in their lives care about their happiness. Hmm. Aaron says, uh, not down with the duck faces. Interesting. Yeah, Lamar's not done it down I'm with the duck faces. You. Thank you. No plastic. Aaron says, hell no, I don't want a bunch of plastic. Oh my god, interesting. So this is exactly energy. I'm real I'm real if they don't like it, then we go on our own ways. Yep. Yeah. But the pro that's that's a pro perhaps maybe that's why I'm single. Because I'm too real or raw. It's just people can't handle it. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Um, yeah, nothing wrong with that. Rob says if the plastic surgery is way too obvious and you can really tell that it's fake, then no, no. Thank you. Thank you. All natural is better, Boot says. Raph says, they lie when you're at a bar or somewhere and you try to talk to them. They say that they have a boyfriend just so you can stop talking to them. Here's always my thing. My thing is if I I'm that. dating a girl, I want to make sure she doesn't. Okay, you're taking her out. She's got like plastic surgery, whatever. And then you wake up next to her the next morning and she looks like a man. And so my thing is I want to make sure that I'm turning over and looking at this girl and she's got natural abilities. Her face is natural and not crazy like Donald Duck or like, you know, <laughs> right, mom? I mean, the natural is the way to go. Guys are into that. There's, it's See, you're in this, this Beverly Hills circle here. That's why you're used to all this duck face plastic Barbie stuff. Yeah. Nobody wants that shit. Do you know the men want that shit? They don't. There's... Yeah. How many guys just said no? There wasn't because, one guy who said yes. That's because this live show attracts real people. It doesn't attract that kind of crowd. Like, that crowd is like, that bitch needs to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> She's poor. That's why she can't do plastic surgery. <laughs> Aaron says, oh, I wouldn't have to lie about that one. My mother would tell a bra to her face if she's on her shit list or not. Wow, that's uh, that's... Would your mom say it to her face? No. No? No. Mom would give me, like, indirect things. Uh, you know, she's so <laughs> sweet. Or she'll, like, tell an aunt, and then an aunt will tell me directly. <laughs> you know? <laughs> It'll be that way, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think how my family handles it. How How do you guys handle it? First of all, I don't I don't bring people around right. until I'm, yeah, for sure. like, what one gajillion thousand percent sure. Um, well, you have. You were sure once. Oh. Yeah, and I and they were sure of it too. And um, but my family, too, like the, none of my cousins, have ever brought anyone that we were like, oh hell, no. I don't think you're but, gonna do that. You're not that type of person to bring random dudes uh, with family. No, but I'm trying to think how like my mom or my aunt would handle it. If situation. you liked them and they didn't, is that what you're saying? I would never date anyone that my mom didn't like. That's what I'm I mean. just gonna put it so out. So I don't think you're ever gonna be in that situation. I would never be in this situation. But I'm talking about like if my mom didn't like, let's say, my cousin's significant other. Oh, right. Got it. Got it. Got uh, it. Honestly, my I always say this on the show, and my mom hates it, but I have, my family is extremely vain. Like my aunt and my 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 mom and my aunts, the three of them, they sit there. They're like, her nose. Oh. Her hips. Oh, 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 so oh, 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 same with me. She's like that, that oh, too much blush. Go, go fix it. No, too much. Uh, I need your hair to do your hair what? straight to the girl, straight to my cousin's face. They say uh, my aunt, like the stuff my aunt says to me sometimes. One time the other aunt we're sitting, she goes, Amazing. nose job. And I go, what? She's like, you did your nose. I go, no. She's like, stop lying to me. I'm like, I'm looking at my mom. I'm like, did I? Am I forgetting something? Did I? You know? Did I? Wow. Great. Like, uh-uh. Amazing. To the face. Amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, Lamar says, I agree with Mike on this one. No plastic. Oh, my God. I wish there was a guy who could come forward and, <laughs> and say. <laughs> okay. I know. I, I, I have a question. Okay. I, I wanted to end on this question. Okay. Because this is important to me. How can men... What, what can men do better when it comes to lying? And what can women do better when it comes to lying? Mm. Like, how can we do better at lying? Don't lie? <laughs> at all? Like, yeah. Why Why lie? Because, again, we're going back to if you're into this person, 
Okay, mm-hmm. if you're lying just to get laid, man, do your thing. Yeah, do your thing. But if you're lying because you you think you found somebody that you can you know yeah. spend some significant time with, you gotta be transparent. You gotta be open. You gotta be vain. You gotta be you know you gotta be open with them. Yeah, and one of the things we talked about this morning with Tina was it's also in delivery too. Like you can be honest without like don't be like my mom, right? What I'm saying is my mom is very yeah. in your face. Yeah. Like she just Direct. says it. There's yeah. no filter. Yeah. You know, there's no, oh, I don't want to hurt this person's feelings. She just kind of says it, right? Same with my aunt. Like they just yeah. kind of say it. Yeah. And I think there's a way of saying it that we have to kind of master. Right. Because so that you don't hurt feelings. But you're also honest. Yeah. And I, I agree. And I think you can do it in a fun way too, right? Make it like somewhat of a joke. Not ah, 120 is my number. Like yeah, that? yeah. <laughs> like something like that. Or if you're calling them out on something and you think they're going to be upset by it, then just say it in a, oh, what did, why did you go down there? What was that for? You know, something like that. If you think they're lying to you, what? you think that oh. they're having sex across oh. the street or something. You know what I mean? What? Got it. Did you go to get eggs or just call them out on stuff? Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's 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 the verdict, huh? Lamar says to be real and to stop lying, but it's really hard for people to do that. That is because the issue. Fear that is wrong. Yeah, it's it hard because it's scary. Yeah. It's very scary to be honest. Yeah, it is very it's, very scary to be honest. Very sad because you don't know. Like for example, the girl who slept with how many? Hundred two, two two a week. Yeah. What did you say? Two a week. That's that's what. That's a hundred in a year. That's hundred in a year. Imagine that girl is honest and says, uh, I've been with, hun- I've had hundred on one partners. Right. And then the guy goes, well, you're a slut. Right. <laughs> that's, that's, ho- that's hard. Yeah. That's scary. I'd be like, right? oh, you've been around. Wow. That's cool. It's equal to slut. Yeah, but I wouldn't be like, damn, you're a slut. <laughs> ways of saying it. There's ways of saying it. <laughs> right? It's called sugarcoating it. Just have fun with it. Dating is very interesting. It could be fun. You gotta just you gotta pick the right people that you want to be with. Both, both your friends, right? They yeah. gotta be right, and then the person you're with has gotta be right. All right. So the verdict is: don't lie. Do not lie. It's scary, but you have to not lie. Yeah. This was fun. We totally got off topic. It was good, though. It was good. It yeah. was good. Yeah. He says, if you are confident in what you are doing or the way you look, it doesn't matter what people say. Correct. But again, with it's, you, it's, it's scary. Yeah. All right. Um, the art behind us is from Tufanki and Fine Arts, and um, it's from an artist named Arthur Sarkisian. He's an Armenian artist, and they are available for sale. So if you guys are interested, send me a message, and I will get you more information. And um, yeah. And right. they- Go ahead. Are you done? No, I was going to say, it's not only these pieces. I just chose these pieces because of the colors. I think they go really well with the with the feel and the theme of the show. Um, and coincidentally, it was Armenian. By the way, a good tip on this and not the whole lying thing. Yeah. If you're able to be transparent and be truthful to that person, that means you have the right person. And you're able to be natural with that person, that means you have the right person. So That's if you're so trying weird. to, if you're lying to the person, then that means you're not maybe supposed to be with that person. It's so much harder. Yeah. It's so, so if you're real much and transparent, harder. then you're like, and I'm okay with it, and she's okay with it. Thank it's, you for telling me. Then you've got the right match. You it's got the right partner. So much harder to date that person. Yeah. Because you're walking on eggshells. Yeah. You're scared exactly. of what you might and say. That's not natural. You're gonna get. You're not being yourself, Mm-mm. and that shouldn't be it. And if you look back at the mo- the best relationship you've ever been in, it's because you were able to be your authentic self, right. and that person accepted you right. for all that you were. Right. You know, like right. your your goofiness, your your you know maybe temporary you know yeah. worst case. Yeah. Right. Like for sure. all that shit. Like that yeah. he or she was able yeah. to like deal with. Uh, it's always that person, because you're not day by day living fear base like is this person gonna exactly. judge me is this exactly. person not I'm, I'm open with her she's totally cool with what mm-hmm. i'm gonna tell her i know she's gonna get it and we're still gonna be together yeah you know yeah so that's that's real yeah i'm, I'm happy you brought that point up that's so true by the way the one time i lied about my height it was before a basketball game it was our playoff game 
in high school. And to a girl or to the coach? No, no. Well, we had to turn in our lineups. So it was our name, our number, and our height, how tall we were. Okay. So they'd announce your name, and they'd say how, high, yeah. how tall you were. And so I'm – I did that, by the way. 5'8 on a good day. In college. I announced the players. Did you? Yeah. And then one time it was a – I was a blah 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 from Turkey, and I went <coughs> Tur- 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 Turkey, Tur- Turkey, Turkey. <laughs> never so I'm, I'm five eight on a good day, uh-huh. and so I was six one that day, right? To, so we turned in my height as six Every one. Every time, Mike Gabriel. You were you, but six, you're no. It was a playoff game, so it was I was six one for that day. But we're trying to intimidate the opposing team too. Uh, like, shit, they got a two guard that's six one. You know, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. you know, plays pretty well. This that, and so. I show up to like the starting lines like five eight, you know. They're like, oh, "That's the six one guy." Yeah, that was the only time that I lied about my height. But they, but the, it was a bunch of guys, so they laughed. Of course, about it. we had a great time. Yeah, yeah. Give me shit. We beat them, so that's all that matters. Yeah. All with, right. With my five foot eight, <laughs> I didn't have to be six one. It's okay. You have big, big energy. <laughs> that's all that matters, baby. Yeah. Big, big energy. That's so true. BDE. That's I'm gonna. That might be my next license plate. BDE. Happen. <laughs> BDE. <laughs> BDE. <laughs>